Pop Trigger Q&A time. Yes. yes. I love that whistle. <laughs> I always forget. Yeah, you have to. He has to always insert the whistle because it's a very special occasion. Because we love when you guys send in your questions to Twitter, Facebook, YouTube. A great excuse to talk about ourselves. <laughs> 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 From Kook My Read. What is the worst movie you've ever seen? Always watch the show. Love all you guys. You're all hilarious, even Brett. Boop. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Lady in the Water. Oof. Ooh. Awful. Okay. It's not even about f***ing mermaids. <laughs> she loves mermaids. The Adventures of Yellow Dog. As a kid, I saw Homeward Bound and I thought, oh, this is Homeward what Bound. cinema yeah. will be now. And then The Adventures of Yellow Dog sucked and as a kid I wanted to walk out. I would have to say Spring Breakers this year was the worst movie I've ever Dude, seen. Finish it. <laughs> I know, yeah. sorry. The first half hour was, sorry. I mean my default is Spanglish. Oh yeah, that's yeah. right. Coming up next from <laughs> Melissa Carlyle. What do you think of the C word? I do not like it. Do you use it? Absolutely not. Is it hypocritical to call people dicks but be offended by the C word? I think the C word is ex extremely really? foul. Say it at the same so time. Let's all say it once at the same time, okay. really loud. Okay. One, One two, two, three. three. Chris. <laughs> oh, I misunderstood. <laughs> I think it's offensive coming from a guy. Like for me, yes. I'll never use it, but I do think it's a little bit hot when girls say it. The way to say it that's the worst is like, wow, you're tapping into like some kind of 1970s era sexist workplace yes. problem. Mm. Of course, like if you're with friends and they say it, if you said it, it wouldn't bother me. But there's been times where just recently I was walking across the street. I'm sorry, I'm a pedestrian. I'm walking across the street and this dude in a white BMW like literally started beeping at me and I'm like, yo, bro. And then he called me the C word. That's pretty hilarious. And that was so offensive. I yeah. wanted to like throw something at him. The D word, sometimes you're triumphantly a dick. Yeah. Like, ah, oh, yeah. just I'm being such a total dick to that person, so suck Okay, it. from Samuel Zargani, if you could spend your life only with one celebrity, who would it be? Love you guys, even Brett. That's the second one. <laughs> second then, even Brett. And then he gave the hashtag. Susan Sarandon. Ooh, okay. Emma Watson? That's a good Susan one. Susan B. Anthony. Yeah, God <laughs> damn it. Just say a real Oh, Susan the diabetes B. guy. The diabetes, uh, 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 uh. Wilford Brimley. Wilford Brimley. Yeah, okay. Wilford Brimley. I would have to say Ryan Gosling in Plays Beyond the Pines. Ooh, I could ride on the back of his motorcycle all the oh time. My God. From Vanessa, what is your favorite band at the moment? And love you all. Two points for everyone. Boop. Even Brett. No, Dexie's Midnight Runner. Oh, wow. Okay. I like that Whatever. your favorite okay. band is a one-hit wonder Come band. On, Kylie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't really listen to bands, and this is going to be embarrassing, but I guess the group that I listen to the mm -hmm. most is actually the cast of Glee. Oh. <laughs> That's the only music I listen to. That's so adorable. Right now, I, I have serious radio, and I listen to, like, the fish... <laughs> fish at six. Yeah. I would have to say, for me, uh, at this moment, like, right now, is uh, Lana Del Rey and ASAP. ASAP okay. Rocky. Okay, so from Colton Black, saw your belt at Pop Molly's on Pop Trigger. They looked awesome. Going to buy some tomorrow. Cool. Whoa. Okay, way to go, Colton Black. Bucks. From Momo Ratchet, Pop Trigger, what would your dream house look like and where would it be located? Love the show so much. P.S. Make me a guest on the show. Ask Tom, because it's all on Tom. I want the cottage that Miss Honey lives in, in Matilda. Oh, that's a good one. Two yeah. points for Brie. Thank you. I want either like a super awesome New York, like Manhattan loft with like a cool game room or possibly Bilbo Baggins' Hobbit home. Oh. Mm -hmm. I want open floor plan, maybe one story on a hill overlooking the ocean mm -hmm. and it gets foggy sometimes and it has those cool big trees that look kind of like bonsai trees out the window. <laughs> I'm gonna really like to have like a Swain bridge to get to my house. Big door and then I definitely want secret rooms. I want a secret room for just whatever. I want to see like in Fifty Shades of Grey. <laughs> I want the like a secret room for like games. I want to see. I just want a ton of secret rooms, and I want a really grand table where like all my friends and I can eat and dine with like big goblets. Basically, I want a freaking castle. Uh, and I want to be the princess. <laughs> okay. And I want archers to and patrol the unicorn, <laughs> the unicorn paddock. <laughs> okay, from Facebook, Michaela K. Hi. <laughs> Hi, Michaela. I love your channel and the brilliant commentary that goes with it. Now, if your life could be narrated by anyone, who would you want it to be narrated by and why? Uh, who's the guy that always narrates? Morgan Freeman. Yes, Morgan Freeman. I think the answer is Morgan Freeman. <laughs> okay, you. Christian Bale with his Batman voice. Okay. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm just kidding. the Wonder Years narrator? Two big points. That's the best answer from, so from far. Point. Fred Savage. I'd have to do Fred Savage. From Lou Moore EP. What's your favorite bird and why? Hmm. 
Also, you guys are the best thing on YouTube. Thank you. And then he gives us a boop. My favorite bird. <laughs> I would have to say. Why do all bird watchers wear that same hat? <laughs> that same brown hat? Uh -huh. It's so annoying. It's part of the beginner's kit. <laughs> yeah. I think flamingos are really cool. Velociraptor. It's the most badass bird. That's so Even awesome. the name itself means bird of prey. Yeah. yeah. Uh, quail. Aww. Because it's got the little thing on the front yeah. that it runs and it goes like this. It, it just looks dumb. You know what? I know what, who my favorite bird is. There's this bird that comes in my courtyard and there's a lot of normal birds. There's this one bird. big bird. I don't know what he is, but he's... <laughs> he's enormous and yellow and he's got this stuff I love again. He even talks. He's huge. And he's like black and he's like, he's not a crow. He's black <laughs> and he has like a rounded face and a yellow beak. Three I don't know who this big bird is, but I love him. <laughs> So coming from Pablo M. Sam, could you show us a picture during your Cholo years? Oh God. <laughs> You'll get two points if you do. I wasn't necessarily a Chola. I just appreciated it. I did go to a, a I mean, an all Hispanic middle school called Alianza. And, um, <laughs> <laughs> Alianza, 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 part of me. I loved Alianza. Oh <laughs> but I wasn't like Chola. I didn't have like stenciled in eyebrows and like lip liner. I wasn't. I was kind of thinking about that bird. Next. I oh, know. you guys, Charlie B, why do you never use my questions? I don't know, Charlie and B. We use this one. We and finally it's not do. Even Sorry, and it's that. Charlie B. We'll keep an eye out for you. Blame it on From Tom. Coven W. Hi, just want to let you guys know I love the show. Thanks, Thank Coven. Thanks. It keeps me up to date in the latest news. Not like the national news matters, anyways. So my question in is: What is the best concert you've ever attended? Oh, can you guys boot me? LOL. Thanks. So his name's Coven W. Ready? One, two, three. Boop, Coven. Hey! I didn't know what that please was. Please do it, ready? I don't know what you're doing. Just do go and do week. a boop to Coven W. Go, Coven W. Boop. Boop. <laughs> Good job, Sean. That's the first I've ever that seen. That was your first boop. Okay, best concert you've ever attended. Regina Spector is the best. Oh. The worst was Earth, Wind, and Fire. Okay. I went to the taping of the Glee Season 3 Nationals. That was the best concert oh, I've ever seen. I did that too. You were there? I was there. <laughs> G Love and the special oh, so sauce good. at the Warfield in San Francisco. Yeah, G Love was one of the best concerts I've ever been to. It was so good, but John Williams really. Okay. Coming from YouTube, Loretta Dawson channel. Why can't Brett just marry me? I find him so perfect. Aww. There's no reason why not. No reason why not. Ooh. From Gibbets, assuming that you've all watched Lord of the Rings, what characters would you assign each other? That's such a good one. I feel like you should do this. Okay, uh, let's see. So you're the host, so you've got to be, I, I guess, Frodo. You're leading the journey, I, like I suppose. Okay, I'm Frodo. There's a ton of rings, um, too. Yeah. Yes. I'm going to have uh, Brett's going to be Boromir because I think he could do that accent really well, and I think he'd be funny with Let's arrows feathering his chest. Five oh. arrows. <laughs> run, run, Frodo. <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> she can be the uh, the female warrior who's like, I'm no bad, and she cuts the dude's head off. Ooh, yes. that is great. Okay. okay. From Amber Johnson, you guys should do a pop trigger response to hater comments episode. Would be hilarious. Yeah, That's bring it, <laughs> bring it. We don't get I, enough hater comments because y'all are a bunch of fucking pussies. <laughs> <laughs> there is a hater that we have on our channel oh, sometimes. Who? I His name one. is Bruce Wayne. <laughs> oh, yeah. He, he hates to punch me. you in the face. He wants to punch me in the face, and you know what? <laughs> Go ahead. I challenge you. <laughs> challenge you, Bruce. I challenge Wayne. you. And also, I really love your name. So yeah. Whatever. Space TV 3000. Wow, that's such a good handle. What is your favorite ride at Disney? Love you, Sam, Bree, and Brett. Boop. Space Mountain. Yeah. Okay. I've never been to Disney. <gasps> We Any need of to them. Do that. You would love it. Space. Space Mountain. And yeah, space. I go with my girlfriend and my editor Natalie. We have season passes. We're the squadron, and and we we always complain about fleet while we're in line. Mm -hmm. We're like we're like oh fleet's reassigning us. Oh, <laughs> oh it's textbook my fleet. Gosh. It's wow. really juvenile and awesome. I love the haunted mansion. Yeah. And there's the most ashes in there. There's a job there that like looks for people spreading out ashes and they clean up the ashes. Because a lot of people that love Disneyland want to be spread in the Haunted Mansion. Love I Harry also Potter love It's a Small World. I love it. It's so creepy and Do you know weird. the story about it. It's a Small World? No. They had to change the boats on It's a Small World ride because people were getting too fat and the boats were sinking. No. <laughs> it's not a small Welcome world Welcome to America. Anymore. It's a big, <laughs> wow. fat, world. diabetic world. Yes. yes. OK, thank you so much, you guys, for sending in your questions and your story suggestions to our Twitter, to our Facebook, to our YouTube. You can continue to do so on our Twitter, at Pop Trigger or Facebook forward slash Pop Trigger. We love you guys. Thank you so much. We'll see you all next time. 
We want to do a special thanks to MLTD.com. So if you want any of the clothes that we have worn, you can go to MLTD.com and you can put pop trigger in the checkout and you get 20% off. Boop.